Hello everyone, I'm Chang Yu, an undergraduate of University of Electronic Science and Technology of China and a research and development intern at Tai Chi Graphics. Today, I'm really excited to present our SIGGRAPH Asia 2022 paper, Mesh Tai Chi, a compiler for efficient mesh-based operations. This work is collaborated with Yi Xu, Ye Kuang, Yue Ming Hu, and Tie Tie Liu. Yi Xu and I are generally first authors, and I will be giving the presentation. Meshes are widely used as discretization forms in many physically based simulation applications like cloud simulation, deformable body simulation, and geometry processing applications since meshes provide conformal spatial discretization. Here, we demonstrate two typical styles of local mesh-based operations which can load and store attributes from arbitrary elements and their neighbors. The gathering styles operations read attributes from the neighbors of an element and store attributes to the element itself. The scattering styles operations, on the contrary, read attributes from an element and write attributes to its neighbors. However, Mesh-based operations are often slow due to the unstructured memory access patterns. For example, in a simple function to compute the normal directions for a surface mesh, we need to first look up for three indices of a certain triangle in our relation table, then load the position attributes from a position array. Once we have the attributes, we can perform the computations in registers. And finally, we need to write the resulting normal directions back to another array. Since the storage of mesh attributes are not likely to be in order, these mesh-based operations can be mostly out-of-cache operations whose bottleneck is memory access. Let's still take the surface normal function as an example and fox on its data flow. Getting neighbor indices and loading data attributes often require out-of-catch global memory access, which can be slow. Moreover, GPU requires coalesced global memory access to maximize bandwidth, but mesh of computations incurred irregular memory accesses are hard to coalesce. Once the computations are done, the storing operators kick in that bring not only another global memory access, but potentially extensive race condition as well. Many previous work have tried to manage mesh data and accelerate mesh-based operations from different aspects. Some work result to mesh data structure and efficient mesh libraries, like half edges and its stable implementations, OpenMesh and CGL. They provide convenient mesh creation queries, but do not optimize for data locality. Some previous works result to compilers and domain-specific language to overcome the portability and the productivity problems, like CIMIP, CIMIT, and APP. Their high-level DSL abstractions provide the portable and the productive programming models. What is the one advantage of a mesh-specific compiler? But they do not further exploit data locality to improve the performance. RxMesh introduces a mesh data structure specified for GPU and focuses on the data locality using mesh partitioning and ribbon, which inspires us insightfully. But as a library, the underlying language restricts its portability, and the library misses the chance to optimize user's code at compile time. Tai Chi is an open source data oriented DSL which improves this data locality using compiler knowledge. However, Tai Chi only explores data locality for structured grids but not for meshes. We build our program language upon Tai Chi to inherit its portability and further design our novel mesh compiler to explore data locality for efficient mesh-based operations. We designed our system as a compiler because it could provide intuitive and concise program model and optimize code using domain-specific knowledge at the same time. Let's see how we design our mesh compiler. 
Here, we start off by declaring our desired goals to guide our desired decisions. These are the objects that we would like to achieve in our mesh compiler. Productivity is the first goal we'd like to achieve. Our compiler should provide an intuitive program model to free users from complex index systems and relation queries. All the triangle and tetrahedron mesh elements should be uniformly handled. Moreover, low-level optimizations are not the user's responsibility and should be decoupled from the competition. Performance is another important goal in our system. We want to achieve this by improving mesh data locality with shared memory, since our observation shows that mesh-based operations are often slow due to the unstructured memory access patterns. We stress portability since we want our compiler to target different backends, and this goal is well aligned with Tai Chi program language. We demonstrated the usage of mesh Tai Chi using an explicit finite element method example with the neural hooking model. We need to define mesh data structure before applying them to computations. Here, users can instantiate a mesh with an external file and initialize the wanted relations, and define the attributes for each mesh element using the place method. The mesh computations are declared within a mesh flow of a Taiji kernel. Our compiler will parallelize the utmost mesh flow loops with high performance kernels. All the relation queries are auto managed with intuitive reference syntax. And our compiler takes over the caching scheme for mesh attributes, making the attribute access optimized and efficient. A common strategy to improve the mesh locality is to divide the mesh into small blocks and cluster mesh elements, so each mesh element can access its own and neighbor's attributes in the same block of shared memory. Also, the computations of each block can be executed in parallel. In this work, to accelerate the neighbor attribute accessing for peripheral elements inside a patch, we pad an extra layer of elements from neighboring patches, similar to the ghost cell pattern and the ribbons in ArxMesh. We also adopt the name of ribbons from ArxMesh for these paddled elements and call them ribbon elements. Introducing partitioning brings a question. What is a good partitioning? Here, we propose two objectives for our patching algorithm. Firstly, the size of each patch needs to be bounded so that we can estimate the shared memory size for each patch easily. Secondly, we want as few ribbon elements as possible because at least two patches share the attributes of these ribbon elements. So we need to duplicate these attributes in shared memory for different patches. When caching data to shared memory, Fewer ribbons could reduce the amount of data transfer between global memory and shared memory. We apply a greedy algorithm to partition the mesh. For generating a new patch, the algorithm first fries an unpatched element U and makes the patch as large to reach upbound patch size as possible. Compared to the k means, our greedy algorithm could generate a larger patch size to reduce ribbon overhead. Where the algorithm will generate some extremely small patches, they have little influence on overall quality and we could group them for load balance. The validation results show that our algorithm improves its performance by about 20% for tetrahedron mesh compared with k means and produces comparable results for triangle mesh. How to utilize shared memory is another crucial question. On the one hand, we want to cache everything in shared memory to improve data locality. On the other hand, shared memory size is limited and small. We do not want to abuse it. Since total shared memory resource is limited per streaming multiprocessor on GPU, Large shared memory size per block will lead to fewer rested blocks per streaming multiprocessor 
and lower occupancy, and her the overall performance. The localization design decision must consider the trade-off. In the surface normal example, we could see two fundamentally different data. The mesh relation, which includes a face vertex relation, and mesh attributes, which include position and normal arrays, and they can be cached in shared memory or orthogonally. As a result, we can get four different localization strategies, which are cached nothing, cache relation data only, cache attribute data only, and cache both relation and attribute data. Here, our design decision about localization strategy has fundamental difference with ArxMesh. Let's still focus on the data flow of general mesh-based operations. ArxMesh tries to localize the relation data and accelerates the acquisition and computation of the neighbor indices using shared memory. But being a library, ArxMesh leaves the attribute access global and unoptimized. Our system computes the neighbor indices in advance at compile time and utilize the shared memory to accelerate the attribute access. Our compiler takes over the attribute data exchange between global memory and shared memory to ensure that most attributes are already in on-chip memory before they are needed for computations. Our memory management strategy also reduces data risks when writing data back to global memory in batches. We tested the performance of four different localization strategies, leaving everything to hardware scheduling, cache relation data only, cache attribute data only, and cache both relation and attribute data. The validation results show that the caching attribute strategy outperforms other strategies we have tried and is best suited for our system. Where well, mesh attributes localization brings a significant performance improvement by exploiting data locality using shared memory. Moving the attributes between global memory and shared memory still has a non negligible overhead, especially when the global data access is uncoalesced. Let's dive into the transfer. When the global index space is out of order, the global memory bandwidth is bounded by uncoalesced global memory access. We want to a coalesced global memory access so that each access brings a big chunk of data to the shared memory at the same time. Our compiler can reorder the global memory layout, aligning it with the local index space. Since mesh attributes may need to interact with external non-mesh data and layout change is not always working, we provide global memory reordering as an option in the mesh definition phase. Users can experiment with different reordering schemes without changing the computation. The validation results show that our system takes advantage of coalesced data access from the global memory and the speed up varies among different meshes. Let's see our results. Our experiments are all reproducible through this repo. Vertex normal computation is a simple but typical mesh-based operation. We pick several high-resolution surface models with millions to tens of millions of surface triangles for this experiment. We compared our system against RxMesh as well as an optimized hardware CUDA implementation. As shown in figure, our system outperforms both the optimized CUDA implementation and RxMesh. The geodesic distance application computes the shortest distance between a selected vertex and all other vertices on a surface. We compared our system with ArxMesh using the same meshes used in the vertex normal. Our system has a significant speed up compared with ArxMesh. Let's see more simulation application results. In this MathBrain simulation, 
Our method is 2.3 times faster compared to an Arc Mesh implementation on GPU. On CPU, the single-threaded and eight-threaded versions of our method are 2.5 times and 16 times faster than CMIT respectively. In this projective dynamic simulation, our method is 1.6 times faster compared to a TIG implementation in mesh-related kernels. In this XPBD cloud simulation, our method is 1.3 times faster in solving strength constraint and 1.6 times faster in solving binding constraint compared to a Tai Chi implementation. We also stress tested our system to simulate a large scene with 0.7 billion elements. To summarize, we present Mesh Tai Chi, a new compiler to make mesh-based operations efficient. We achieve high performance by exploiting data locality for mesh attributes. To be more specific, we partition meshes into patches and transform wanted attributes for each patch to on-chip memory so that the mesh-based operations can access the data faster. Our compiler provides an intuitive programming interface where users can program concise and intuitive code without worrying about mesh relations and attributes indices. Our compiler also decouples low-level optimization options from computation, enabling users to explore different data orderings and cached attributes without changing the computation. As a result, our CPU solution is an order of magnitude faster compared to the best mesh compiler on CPU simulator. Our GPU solution is 1.4 to 6 times faster than the state-of-the-art mesh data structure Arc Mesh. The limitations of our compiler derive from the initial assumptions of mesh-based operations. The topology of input meshes needs to be static. We focus on local mesh operations for now where we assume all computations happens on the one-ring neighborhood of a mesh element. Collision and context involves lots of runtime information, hence they are hard to optimize using our compiler. The patching algorithm is another promising direction to improve. We observe that our compiler prefers low ribbon ratios to achieve better performance but our patching algorithm reveals a raw approximation to achieve this goal. We plan to investigate some other graph partitioning algorithms such as bus cut to generate better patches. Please check out our source code repo and project page to learn more about our work. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you for your listening.